how's it everybody it's Stephanie again from diesel tech um, today I just want to cover a short video on comparisons between uh, what you get these days is your solar blankets as well as your portable uh, power packs that you get on your more popular brands like the flexo power as well as the jackery units uh, just to show you guys while I have some of the products on demo physically with me to show you the physical size between the lot and to give you just some basic specs like weight and performance etc all of these products you can find in our online store which uh, i will post the website link down in the description below just to be clear on the video as well before we get started uh, it's not a, a video about brand bashing or comparing the one brand to the other to say which one is better than the other it's purely a comparison video for you as the viewer to be able to see for yourself with each product next to one another physically what the differences are in particular with size when it comes to the portable battery units so let's get started i'll start off with the solar blankets first and then we'll move over to the portable battery units i hope you find this video and this information useful um, seeing that if you are a serious overlander then weight is quite an issue on your kit and on your vehicle when traveling so weight is definitely a crucial a very very critical and crucial point that needs to be considered and of course then as well you don't want to be let down while you're on your trip so performance is definitely on the list as well so starting with the solar blankets in their folded and transportable position or shape uh, you will clearly notice that the snowmaster folds up the smallest of the lot Flexo Power Numup 150 watt panel. It's the Jackery 100 solar panel. Flexo Power 150 watt Mojave solar panel. Unfortunately, I don't have the Flexo Power 240 watt units with me. Um, that would have made a very nice comparison to add on to the video as well. The Numup 150 watt panel weighs in at 3.5 kilograms. The Mojave Flexo Power 150 watt panel weighs in at 4.1 kilograms. The Jackery 100 watt what they call solar saga panel weighs in also at four kilograms and your snowmaster 200 watt panel down there weighs in at 9.1 kilograms which is quite heavy and that is excluding the little controller that comes with it which by the way is a pulse with modulated controller and not a mppt which means unfortunately or sadly you can't really use this panel with that particular controller on a lithium battery only lead acid type batteries all right, everybody, so here you can see them all in a opened up or ready to use position when they are in action. Um, again, the Snowmaster, of course, is a 200 watt panel, so it should be a lot larger than all the other ones. But they do have a 125 watt uh, unit as well. And the Snowmaster panel, for some reason, comes without kick out legs or pegs or whatever you want to call it um, in order to put it on an angle slanted angle such as the flexor power units as well as the jackery um, so sadly you you only have to lie down flat or you will have to make a plan on your trip or during your camping overlanding trip to angle them at the correct position to get maximum sun efficiency on the correct angle for that matter The Jackery Solar Saga 100 Watt does 5.5 amps that it can produce at a, on a good day. Your Flexo Power 150 Watt Mojave can produce up to 9.1 amps on a good day, which is actually very good. Your Flexo Power Nama Panel 150 Watt can produce up to 7.6 amps on a good day. And your Snowmaster 200 Watt Solar Blanket or Panel can kick out a full 11 amps on a good day. All right guys, so uh, that's enough of the solar blankets, I reckon. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below or email us on info at dieseltechstore.co.za um, regarding any technical info, um, I don't know, backup support experience with the different brands and suppliers, prices, uh, specials that we will run from time to time online. Um, anything, you can, you feel free to get in touch. Um, as you can see behind me there somewhere is the portable battery units that I was discussing about and this is quite a hot topic lately in South Africa. Um, it's quite a battle of the brand so to speak. Um, Flexo Power has been in the market for a couple of years now uh, in South Africa in particular. Um, Jackery has come on board recently as well which I know is an American product. 
Um, and then there's a yellow uh, big battery there at the back, uh, 750 watt, a Rentec unit, which is a European brand to my knowledge, um, which is fairly still fresh and unknown in South Africa, but I think is one of the better buys uh, seeing what you get capacity-wise on the battery for what you pay for compared to the other brands. But uh, let's go and take a closer look and uh, I can show you the, the more particular smaller detail between the lot as well as definitely which I reckon is a, is a big surprise is this physical size comparison between all of them. Um, just one last thing before I jump into the detail between the, the four battery units here or actually the three that I'm going to do. You will see, notice I have two Jackery units here. The one is a 250 model and the other one is a 500. But for the pure comparison sake, I'm only going to compare the Jackery 500 and the Flexo Power 555 to the Rentec 750 that I have. Just to keep things fair, Jackery has got three models. They've got the 250, the 500, as well as the 1000. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a 1000 model here with me to show to you today. Uh, but just so you know, I'll run it through them quickly. Uh, the first the first clip and then after that I will remove the 250 from the shots. Okay, so over here we have the Jackery 250 model. This is the Jackery 500 model or 500 watt, the 250 or the 500, usually the number or the figure on the model refers to the wattage it can produce. And this is the Flexo Power 555, um, which is the upgraded unit or version of the Flexo Power 444, for those of you who have seen that one before. And over here we have the Rentec 750 watt, which is uh, quite, a, quite a beast considering the capacity that it has. So here you can clearly visibly see that the Flexo Power 555 definitely takes first position for its size compared to the other two units. Um, it's really tiny and small. Um, and while I'm on the 555, I'm going to show you, you can't really see it on a video, but the casing is not plastic. It's actually some form of uh, metal, which I reckon is aluminium. So it, is, it should be quite robust compared to the other two. This one is completely plastic. The Jackery 500 as well as the Rentec 750 also completely plastic. So taking it from the left, um, on the Rentec 750 unit, you will see that it has the European type sockets on it for the AC power coming out. It has a lighter socket, it has some, it has some USB charging points, and then of course your charging ports here at the top. Your on and off button, if it's charged, it would have switched on you now on the screen. Um, and that's about it for the Rentec 750. On the other side, if I turn it around for you quickly, it has got a torch light that you can use on your camping trips. Next up is the Flexo Power 555 unit. Now, like I said, the predecessor for this one was the Flexo Power 444. They went back to the drawing board and they did some homework. And I actually built this one to cater specifically for the South African market, as you can see here. It takes the three-point sockets that um, all South Africans should be familiar with. Um, at the bottom here, it has its lighter socket built in there. On the triple five unit, they also have the buttons, the one for DC switch on and off and AC switching on and off. And on the right here, it has got the USB charging ports, one quick charge, as well as a Type-C charging socket. Um, and there's your DC 12 volts. Uh, outputs. On the other side, if I turn it around for you quickly. Okay, on the other side of the triple five, there's only one port and it clearly says the input. So this is where you would charge with either your vehicle power, AC power from your home, or your solar blanket or panel power that you can plug in there. So, but the triple five lacks one thing that the other two doesn't have, which is a um, torch light. So, not in my opinion that you actually crucially need it on one of these units, but it is a nice to have, I suppose, seeing that all the other guys do have it. Then, up next is the Jackery 500. Um, also quite a fairly straightforward and simple design. All the output sockets, basically all the sockets, everything is on one face of the battery unit. It has got the American type round AC output socket. It does have the USB sockets ne next to that. They don't have the Type C like the Triple Five does, or a quick charge. It's just all normal USB output charging units. And over here is your lighter socket and your DC output plugs. 
and at the top there is your input charging slot so what is quite nice though about the jackery is that they do have a button for each section on the other side of the jackery there's not much happening over there it's just a blank wall or side and the torch light on the longitudinal side of the battery unit so let me quickly run you through the the weights and uh, capacity for the batteries between the two just to get a fair comparison besides the physical size um, for you to see again which one is the better one compared to what you spend your money on for what you get back on performance so your jackery 500 weighs in at six kilograms and it comes with a 24 amp hour capacity size lithium battery um, so I compare the size to the weight and it only has a 24 amp hour size battery in it it is actually the smallest of the three yeah considering the capacity of it then next up is the uh, flexor power triple five unit this guy is sitting with a 42 amp hour size or capacity lithium battery inside which is actually double about double the size of the jackery and it weighs in at 6.6 .6 kilograms and lastly the rentec unit yes it is a little bit bigger than the others but with a very good reason this guy comes with a 72 amp hour capacity size lithium battery which is quite huge considering the other two um, it weighs in at only 7.5 kilograms so it's only one kilogram heavier than the other two but you almost get double the battery capacity so so what does that mean that's the this other question that i get quite often is what does it mean what is 72 as an example amp hours mean versus flexor powers 42 amp hours so if you have to plug in something let's say into the 200 volt socket and you are drawing power from it and both the units are running or powering the same thing as an example let's say you are running your charging your laptop the same laptop same power draw from both the units then all it means is that your 72 amp hour battery will actually run double the time that the flexor power 42 amp hour can so yeah it'll last you longer but also remember when charging it back up again it'll take longer to fill up the tank again to the full capacity versus the other two uh, but like i said if you consider it's only one kilogram heavier than the other two but almost double the battery capacity then it's not it's actually not really not that bad um, you will see on our website it's actually very fairly priced as well the rentec unit comes in pretty much the same price as the flexo triple five it's just that they have not been around for very long in south africa so they are unknown brand um, at this stage but overall consideration i would say if space is your your challenge on your overlanding trips which use usually most of the times it is then the triple five definitely takes the cake there you will not take up a lot of space with that it all weigh roughly around six six and a half seven kilograms so that's not the end of the world hey guys there you have it um, like i said i want to keep the video brief and short and sweet and simple and straight to the point so i hope you find it useful uh, this is the first time for myself as well that i physically see all the units next to one another to feel the weight between a lot um, you know when you pick them up you can definitely feel there's a weight difference between them um, and it's just nice to see what the manufacturers are up to the design into the product and the initiative like flexor power went and they said they're going to make this the battery serviceable which is very very cool i think so there you have it um, that's the power units for you now most of the people at the expo had the question of so what is the difference between a portable power pack such as this one and your conventional battery boxes that you used to find well uh if i have to to put in my little bit of knowledge on that i would say these ones are quite unique in the sense of it caters for charging from 200 volts it caters for charging from your solar panel it caters for charging from your vehicle while you're driving and it produces both 200 volts as well as 12 volts um, the downside to them i would say is they quite finesse in the sense of i think they can be easily damaged and if they start picking up problems out in the field you can't really do much about it you will have to return it to the back to the supplier or the manufacturer once you get back home so you guys screwed in that sense a battery box is more robust and more built like it says conventional for the original overlanding experience in a sense of they come with anderson plugs which these guys don't have on so 
most of the camper vans and the camper setups in South Africa use or make use of the grey or red or blue Anderson plug, which these portable units don't have fitted to them. And also number two is, it's, like I said, it's more robust. You can bolt it down onto your vehicle. You, I suppose you can drop it. I don't want to drop it, but I think it will last longer than one of these guys. It's not as finesse as these portable battery units. Um, should something go wrong on your trip, you're more than welcome, if capable, to open a battery box and see what the problem is. Repair it yourself. If it's something small, assemble it and continue your trip. Whereas on these guys, if you open it up, obviously you will lose your warranty on it. Um, so that's mainly the, I would say, the main differences between the two. Um, other thing, the Flexo Triple Five unit has something very unique um, that they actually market that way as well, is that they have a serviceable option or capability built into the Triple Five, so that you can replace the battery only, only the battery cell once the lifetime runs out, which shouldn't be in the first, I would say, three to five years, but. When the time comes, you can send it back to them. They'll replace the unit for you. So you will only pay the cost for the battery unit and not replace the complete portable pack as a whole. So just to, just to make it easier, I will make up a little a data sheet and post it on a video towards the end as well. Just to, to list each product that I have here as well as the 240 watts of flexor power that I don't have here physically. But just to enlist them to, to summarize the weights as well as the amps or the amp hours they produce or can absorb and supply back to the battery just for you to have a easier comparison to view them and make a decision with so hope you guys liked the video like i said i hope it was informative uh, leave your comments down below we would like to see what you think and uh, what questions you might have and if you have not liked and subscribed our channel yet please do so by hitting the subscribe button for those that did subscribe already, thank you very much for doing so. We appreciate it. Um, thanks for the support. Out in the public, now and then we run into some uh, followers or subscribers. So cheers and thanks to all you guys out there. And stay safe, keep well, and we'll see you in the next episode, hopefully. Which will hopefully not be too far in the distant future. Cheers.